Hi, this is Dave Thomas Rocker, and today I'm going to talk about um, the mathematics of karma. And I do believe in karma, karmic law, um, and I'll tell you why I believe in it. Uh, so uh, I'm going to start by talking about what most Westerners believe, at least Christians, um, the idea of heaven and hell. And um, I don't agree with this. I'm, I'm not a Christian. I'm not a Jew either. I mean, I was raised as a Jew, but I don't believe in the, the Old Testament or the New Testament. But the main reason I don't like the idea of heaven and hell is that I think it's too binary. I mean, if you're good, supposedly, uh, according to the New Testament, if you're good, you go to heaven, and if you're evil, you go to hell. Well, where do you draw the line? I mean, uh, I think most people are pretty big mixed bag of good and evil. I don't think... You know, just because you're a little more evil than good, you deserve to go to hell for an eternity. And if you're a little more good than evil, you deserve heaven for an eternity. That's just too binary. I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's just. And, uh, you know, just, uh, justice isn't so clear. I mean, you know, uh, um, I guess the justice system uh, in, uh, in America and most of the Western world, you know, relies on a system of... Uh, you know, you got the scale as a kind of a metaphor. But, uh, you know, when, uh, for instance, when a criminal is arrested and uh, has to go to trial for a crime, um, you have a big, uh, um, you know, judicial uh, system of trial and you have a jury and you have to weigh all the evidence. That's kind of what the scale and indicates. And it's not always so clear cut. So I, I think, you know, good and evil aren't always so clear-cut. You have to look at all the circumstances. And I guess that's why I like karma. So I actually think of karma, and this is kind of symbolized by the yin and yin symbol up here. Um, a kind of nice way to summarize it is the saying, what goes around comes around, which kind of looks like this yin and yang. So, uh, you know, the way I think of it, that's just a natural. Um, just like the laws of physics, which are mathematical laws. Uh, well, these are known. These are science, you know, these are physical laws that have been tested and verified, and they all involve simple mathematical forms. It's simple, simple if you understand them. Uh, and I think karmic law is like that, too. We just haven't made it science yet in the same sense as physics. But I think it could be a scientific law someday. And I think uh, it kind of works like the law of large numbers, uh, I'll show you here. Uh, so, uh, you know, if you know a little bit of probability and statistics, you're probably familiar with the law of large numbers. It just says that, um, you know, you can think of tossing a fair coin. Um, if you toss it, you know, you know that it has a 50% chance of landing on heads and a 50% chance of landing on tails. So if you do it a large number of times, you expect about half of the tosses to be heads and about half to be Tails, but you have to do a large number of times. I mean, you do it like 10 times. It's not very unusual that you would get uh, even like you could get all heads or all tails. It's kind of unusual, about one in a thousand chance. But you know, it's not unlikely you get like eight heads, and two tails, or two heads and eight tails. Um, it's not going to be that close to 50% necessarily. But if you do it more times, like 100 times, you can be pretty sure it's going to be between 40 and 60%. Tails. If you did it a million times, you can be pretty sure it's going to be right between about 49 and 51 percent. So the more number of times you do it, the closer you expect it to get 50 percent. And I actually think that uh, the law of karma is kind of like that. I mean, um, I think there's sort of like the way I imagine karma, it's like a scorecard. So, um, like, if you think about what goes around, comes around. If you do something bad, the idea of karma is it's going to come back. Uh, it's got bad karma you're sending out throughout the universe. And uh, um, you can just think of like the universe as a circle and all the bad karma you send out eventually comes back to you because everything circles around. Same with good karma. So if you do a good deed, if you help someone, I mean, some of it's kind of common sense. So if you're nice to people in general, they'll be nice to you and vice versa. If you do a lot of bad things, you'll get a bad reputation. People are going to hate you, and they're going to want to get even with you. And, uh, so that's kind of an obvious uh, uh, instance of uh, what goes around comes around. Um, but, um, you know, 
it doesn't seem that way for us all the time because there's some very, very good people in the world who never seem to get rewarded for being good. I mean, look at all the starving people in Asia and Africa. I think most of them are good people, but most of them don't live past the age of about two. I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, so I also believe in reincarnation, by the way. And, uh, you know, and also the other side of that coin is there's some very bad people in the world who never seem to be punished. As a matter of fact, they seem to be rewarded for being crooks or, or being, um, you know, very greedy or opportunistic and take advantage of people their whole life. But, you know, I don't think it just applies to this life. I think it applies to all our future lives as well. So whatever, I, I think part of how karma works is that, you know, um, after we die, it's not just the end. A lot of people do believe death is the end. Most Jews seem to believe that. I don't believe that. I used to believe that. But, you know, now I believe in reincarnation. And I think part of the purpose of reincarnation is to learn lessons from our past lives. So, you know, whatever lessons we didn't learn in this life, we have to learn in our past lives and, um, you know, I think there is some truth that, you know, if you're a good person in this life, you'll be rewarded in your next life. If you're a bad person in this life, you'll be punished. And, but I don't think it, you know, works the way that, you know, Christians imagine heaven and hell. It's not like Jesus or God, you know, um, does this to you. It's more like just the law of averages. I mean, things average out in the long run. I think it's more of a natural law. And even these laws down here, they're natural laws, too. And they're not all exact laws. I mean, I think the law of averages applies to a lot of these laws. Uh, like, um, oh, yeah, S equals K log W. This is the law of entropy. This is the log of, this, the S is entropy. Uh, and uh, second law of thermodynamics, maybe you've heard of that. It says entropy tends to increase. It doesn't always strictly increase every moment. It can have little fluctuations where it goes down a little bit, but they don't last that long. And I think, you know, you, you know, people say you can be lucky or unlucky, and, you know, a lot of people seem to have streaks of good luck and bad luck. But like the law of averages, they average out. You're not going to, you can't expect to have a really, really long streak of good luck. It's not like you're just going to have good luck your whole life. It seems that way for some people, but I think things average out. So... Some people can be lucky for a while, or the unlucky, um, but things are going to even out. If you're a good person, I think ultimately you would be rewarded, and if you're a bad person, ultimately you'd be punished. And and I think you learn lessons along the way too. I mean, if you're a bad person, if you're punished for what you did bad, you learn them. You know, you learn to correct your behavior, and you know maybe that's what Christians call um, forgiveness and redemption. I think. Uh, you know, Buddhists have a different name for that. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but I think that's kind of how things work. So anyway, thank you for watching my video.